We've got five buckets. We've got five bottles with liquid nitrogen. We're gonna cap them off, let that pressure build up, put them down here. We're gonna cover them up with ping pong balls and we should get a pretty cool reaction. Great. So y'all can go over there and hunker down. Okay. All right, Darren, what do you got going on? I'm gonna be shooting high speed at 1,000 frames per second over here. Very cool. Got cameras scattered around everywhere. All right, sounds good. Think it's gonna be epic, man. I think so too. All right, everybody ready? Caps on and put them in the bucket and get out. Well, that worked pretty well. That worked extremely well. Yeah. I was surprised. That percussion was strong. Yeah, it's cool. Well, when all that liquid nitrogen evaporated, it filled up the bottle, but it was contained, so it built up a lot of pressure. And when that pressure released, it released quickly, and everything in front of it went along with it. The reason why the plastic bottles explode is the same reason why the beer cans explode. An expansion of gas causes a buildup of pressure until the mounting force causes the bottles to burst. I think what surprised me most about that was just that I was expecting the can to explode, but it actually imploded on itself. That was really cool. What Darren sees as an implosion is actually just recoil against the barrel from the extreme change of air pressure inside the cylinder. 